Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the touch sampling rate comparison test between the iQOO Neo 6 device versus iQOO 7 device. And this is another most interesting question where I did get from plenty of my subscribers asked me to compare both phones regarding the touch sampling rate. So before that, I'll try to show you the exactly what company is announcing regarding the default touch sampling rate. So right now, if you try to go to the iQOO website, you will be able to find the information where they did mention that 300 touch sampling rate will be there for the iQOO 7 device. So this one, the official iQOO website only I'm trying to mention. 300 hertz and instant touch sampling rate is 1000 hertz and whereas iQOO Neo 6 which has got 1200 hertz instant touch sampling rate and the 360 hertz will be the normal touch sampling rate as you can see the difference 360 hertz in the iQOO Neo 6 device 300 hertz in the iQOO 7 smartphone so that's what I thought of uh, mentioning for you all and I'm trying to use exactly same models let me show you the settings option so you guys can actually see here as you can see iQOO Neo 6 Snapdragon 870 and 870 iQOO 7 so now it's time to check the touch sampling rate. So first I'll try to show you the refresh rate what I'm trying to use between these both phones because you should know the refresh rate what I'm trying to use as well every time. So let me try to go to the refresh rate. Yes, 120Hz has been selected successfully. So as you can see friends, 120Hz, 120Hz. That's perfectly fine, right? So now it's time to check the touch sampling rate application. Let me open the touch sampling rate application. So this application where you can actually see the touch sampling rate exactly right now i'm trying to use with the ultra game mode as well so both phones i did enable the ultra game mode as you can see ultra game mode has been enabled even i can use the monster mode as well to get the maximum output regarding the touch sampling rate so first let's check in the touch sampling rate in this iq 7 device so this iq 7 smartphone right now try to observe the touch sampling rate the value we are getting about uh, 400 420 as you can see so 420 minus 120 so you need to do the refresh rate minus as well always because this application will give the combined value of touch sampling rate plus refresh rate always you need to do the minus so 410 415 somewhere around that we are getting so 420 minus uh, 120 or refresh rate 300 hertz touch sampling rate we are getting in the iq7 which is exactly as same what the company they did make the statement on this device but now let's take a look at the iqo neo 6 device so this is iqo neo 6 device which i'm trying to uh, check here and look at here what happens with the overall uh, touch sampling rate value so value we are getting about 234 as you can see 234 and 240 we're getting that's it so 240 is a touch sampling we're getting friends so 240 minus 120 years refresh rate so 120 hertz touch sampling rate as you can see I did enable the monster mode, I did en enable the ultra game mode and everything, but still I'm getting only 120 hertz. I'm not sure what has happened with this kind of touch sampling rate. Maybe while playing games, you might be able to notice, but right now I did not notice any kind of uh, change regarding the touch sampling rate application. So iQOO was able to maintain exactly same what the companies did mention, but iQOO Neo 6 device, I'm not getting that kind of exact uh, value. Whereas there is another application also which is available to measure the touch smoothness so right now as you can see so where is the touch sampling rate you can see in the iq neo 6 device it's not that smooth as you can see the difference right so iq 7 of it's kind of smooth and iq neo 6 it's not that smooth you can see the touch difference what's going on so definitely maybe while gaming you might be able to see the experience but right now this is situation regarding the touch sampling rate demonstration i'll try to do the touch sampling rate test using with very fast movement as you can see it did detect number of touch inputs not bad but whereas in the iqo neo 6 device same speed i'm trying to do as you can see very less number of touch inputs got detected when you compare with the iqo 7 device so this offense is a small thing which i thought of just mentioning for you all so maybe while playing games might be able to get that kind of higher touch sampling rate but with the normal i'm not getting any kind of higher touch sampling rate between this both phone but in the iqo 7 i was getting 300s but in this device i'm not getting any 360 or 300 not even close so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching until then straight of more updates until then bye